You know, they got X1 right now. We might be looking at X2. They promised us that would never happen. <laughs> because I've seen it many times, especially with our students. Unexplained air, and you're like, oh my God, everything's gone. I need an explanation for this. Adjust your TV when you know you know. Do you want to know the single best thing that you can do for your career as an adjuster, whether you've been in the IA for years or you just learned about it from this video? The signature networking event of the year is the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Convention held at the first of the year, every year, for decades. Go to NACAadjuster.org right now and get registered for this can't miss annual event. There's training, continuing ed for your licensing, and the most important thing, dozens of recruiters, team managers, VPs of HR, all the people who will be hiring you. And you get to sit down in front of them in person and interview. This is a big deal. People leave this conference with claims in their hands. If you only do one thing for your career, this has to be it. Go to NACAadjuster.org and let them know Adjuster TV sent you. I think the big thing with Xactimate, when I talk about crashing and stuff like that, is when I, if this goes out to the world, this is a good thing, right? Xactimate is such a behemoth program that if you have a complex sketch and 150 photos, and you're moving back and forth, and let's say you had to delete one extension and pull another extension, you're putting so many little X's and O's in the background of that that you should probably, when you're done with that claim and you send it up, just close down your Xactimate, restart your computer before you go on to the yeah. next big claim. Because I've seen it many times, especially with our students, that by the time they get to the fourth claim, it's just starts slowing down it doesn't do the extensions the way the sketch doesn't work the way you want it to it freezes unexplained air and you're like oh my god everything's gone and i you, need an explanation for this right oh, you can't get one it's unexplained. No. and and by the way you just lost the last 20 minutes of worth of work right gone. oh yeah no there's i have a nervous tick of control s control s control s even yeah. though it has auto save every minute or that's zero. that i don't believe that even works um, i'm exactly control s control s yeah if I get the sketch done, save. Get the photos done, save. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. For sure. But there's so much, I think, going on because it's such a big program and it's so robust yeah. that there's so much going on in the background that it's almost, if you just save and exit out of everything, close it down, take a breath, when you open it back up, it's kind of renews it. That's kinda. what we always used to tell our students. Yeah. And it's, I think that that's, that's just kind of good general computer management to begin with. Right. So. You know, if you're using a browser or whatever and you're surfing the internet, you know, the cache will fill up, right? And I, I'm, I'm not a s software developer or whatever, so I'm right. talking on my rear end right now. But, you know, if if things, you know, artifacts from doing certain functions, if they start to build up in some part of the software, then it can kind of bog it down. I think another thing to, to do is to make sure that you don't have to buy a gaming computer, you know, a $3,000 computer at, at all. Having a lot of extra RAM makes a big difference with this because then it's got more room to right. think about what it's doing. And then having a hard drive that's big enough to... Because a lot of times the computer will use the hard drive as part of its memory management, right? So it'll if it's got some room right. over here. Um, so if you got to, you know... If I was going to like tell somebody what kind of laptop to get, I would want to get like a, at least a one terabyte hard drive and at least 16 gigs of RAM. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications for those as well. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with code ADJUSTYOURTV at checkout at HagueEducation.com. You're talking $800 for a computer. Yeah. You can, you can get Costco a half a terabyte and eight gigabytes of RAM for five, six hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Right? I want a little room to grow into but because... Not, but not the gaming thing, no, not no, no. the $2,000 computer. And I would suggest that people buy that computer for their work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your gaming computer is your gaming computer. Yeah. I tell them the same thing. Your work per computer is your work computer. You don't start putting gaming programs oh. or downloading an extra Norton or whatever other apps or anything no. else. Used to be not as much anymore, but Xactimate didn't like Norton antivirus. Yeah. And Xactimate hated Lenovo computers. 
Yeah. Because the first year, I think, we were using Lenovo's, and I had to call up um, eService Center, and they would literally take over the computer and do some SQL little path. There's nothing I could ever figure out. Right. But every one of those computers they had to fix. Yeah. yeah. I've gone through, I had Compact, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba. I think Dell is the one I landed on that kind of seemed to be the most That's reliable. one we landed on, too. Yeah. Yeah. But... Now, and, and again, I mean, as far as like the specs go, the, they publish the, the spec recommended specifications on Exactware's website. So that's the most up-to-date thing that you can get. I like to go a little bit beyond that because if I have this laptop for two or three years, Exactto is going to be updated. <laughs> yeah, right. And they might need more RAM, you know, in a future version. Right. Or there might be some new functionality that they add to it. They might, you know, they got X1 right now. We might be looking at X2 in a year, two or three. They promised us that would never happen. <laughs> There is only one company that provides e &O and general liability insurance solely to the claims industry, and that's Kaplik. And they even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance that you as an adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. When you started, you were on 23? Yeah. I mean, right, so, yeah. and then twenty four, and twenty four five, and then twenty five, and yeah. twenty five one, and twenty five five, and twenty five nine, yeah. and then twenty seven point five was probably the best version, I think. Twenty seven five, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then when they when they went to twenty eight, you had to have both versions, oh, right? Great. Because this company I was working for was sending me twenty seven five, and this company was sending me twenty eight, yeah. and uh, now I have to have both versions on my desktop depending on which claim I'm running. And didn't work and that when they came out with x1 that was like supposedly the cure-all of cure-all yeah well right. software we we did not change over to x1 at the school until they absolutely said we are not going to work with 28 anymore. yeah yeah they, there was a hard cutoff a couple of years ago where yeah. they said no more yeah no more 28 support i'm like i'm not going to your new thing until yeah. you figure it out but yeah Cool. Well, Ma, uh, thank you for um, housing me up in Montana. Thanks for dude, the conversations that we're having. It's my and, pleasure. Uh, we'll do much more when I get back home and I set up my little gig like you've got going here. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's we'll a good time. Man. I'm glad to have you. It's It's been a pleasure getting to know you and, you know, being in yeah. with you and you and Cheryl. And oh, we got grand stories. and oh, They're great. <laughs> What's so cool is that, you know, because we both have a lot of experience, we can like we got stories that we got we, stories that we could tell each other. Yeah. I had this one, right? And it's <laughs> exactly because exactly. it's it's the happy hour stories when you go meet the guys after a day of being out in the field all day long. And for sure, you know, for sure, you won't believe what this contractor did today. You know, for sure. But, I think I'm going to do a podcast just on stories. Yeah. We'll see. You know, sometimes you won't have roof diagrams provided for you. Learn how to draw your own accurate, clear, and professional roof diagrams in this next video right here.